Hello YouTube, we're working on our little John Deere 60. One tire was off the bead, we used a ratchet strap to get it back off, didn't find no leaks. This one had a little piece of staple wire in it. See this little wire? What we did, if you can see it, can you see that little screw down in there? Look at it on the camera. Can you see that? Put some hot glue on it. Use our torch lighter. And we're going to put some glue over top and let it set and see if it'll hold there. Even if it's a slow leak. Uh, I could have left the staple in there, but it was leaking pretty good. We just need to get this thing moved around. We'll get some tire plugs when we go to the store. Put a tire plug in. But uh, These tires are small. I have to put it in the description. Oh, there they are. 18 tall, 8.5 wide on an 8 inch rim. So, 18 by 8.5 on an 8 inch rim. There you go. I didn't have to take a picture of it. Okay. We'll go ahead and put some air in this pretty soon and we'll see if it holds air or what it does. Okay. We decided to cover everything with the glue. You can still see the screw down there. And this ain't my good sticky glue. I just grab whatever glue sticks. So I should have grabbed my better stuff. But anywhere all the way around it, it only has to hold air. Uh, to move the thing around to work on it and then I'll fix it later so there you go we'll show you uh, a little bit of the tractor here before we go today but we'll come back and let you know if this holds there though okay we did a little cleaning back around the paint it doesn't look but we don't plan on painting this the hood's been fiberglass where it's cracked we plan on doing a little touch-up paint we do not want to repaint this do not ask me why they were dark green under the other green. See what sticker came off? This side has a long key in it. The other one was a short woodruff key, half moon key. I'm not going to pull this one out. But that's weird. The other side has a shorter key. It's half that length. Odd, huh? It's not the original seat, but there you go. Okay, we'll get back to the tire here shortly. What's odd is the one rim on this side has been painted, nice painted yellow, and this one's just old original color. But these aren't bad tires. I mean, they're weather cracked as long as they hold air. I will take a picture of the tires on the 70, which I don't like. I like these better. I do have a video on these, but so I don't want to be putting too many videos out on this because it gets boring. That's why I just wanted to show you the my tire repair to see if it works. I'm gonna post it whether it works or not. I'm just gonna I'm just bored. My truck's done and I'm working on this and it's going to rain this weekend. I just want to put out a video this Friday. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, it's holding fifteen pounds of air and that's all I need. That's all I need to move around the yard, 15 pounds there. That's all I run in my bag tractor, about 15 pounds. I'll pump up about 20 in the winter time because I'll put my chains on tight and air them up like 20, maybe 25. But summertime I run about 15 pounds there. I run with squatted running around the yard. So there you go. If you get in a bind, give it a try. Just take a little screw. Uh, start to screw start to screw in the hole right like say it was a staple and then melt your hot glue around it and screw it in real quick and then just do like I do just fill it in I just use a torch lighter you don't need a you don't need a glue gun okay that's it thanks for watching I'll leave you a few pictures of the little thing I get the wheel back on it